This is the first video in a series covering advanced safety motion solutions. In this video, the basic concept and differences of drive-based safety and controller-based safety will be covered. Before we discuss the differences between drive-based and controller-based safety, let's look at the basic hardware and software requirements for an advanced safety motion solution. First, a guard logix controller is needed. Either the guard logix 5580 or the compact guard logix 5380 controller can be used. Next, a Kinetics 5700 safe monitoring servo drive is required. There are currently two models available, the ERS4 and the ERS3 Series B. A feedback device is also required. The Kinetics VP Series motor with SIL2 safety rated encoder is a good choice. And thirdly, Studio 5000 Logix Designer Software version 31 or greater is required. Now, let's take a look at the two execution methods for an advanced safety motion solution. First is drive-based execution. The key components for this method are, the parameters for the safety functions are configured in the drive module add-on profile. The available safety functions include safe torque off and safe stop one. Once configured and downloaded to the controller, the parameters for the safety function are fixed. Any changes would need to be done offline and then re-downloaded to the controller. Execution of a drive-based safety function is initiated via drive output assembly tag. Once initiated, the monitoring of the safety function is done in the drive. Because monitoring is done in the drive, safety reaction time will be faster. The other execution method is controller-based. The key components for this method are the parameters for the safety function are now configured in a drive safety instruction in the safety task program. The available safety functions are safe stop one, safe stop two, safe operating stop, safe brake control, safe direction, safely limited speed, and safely limited position. The configured parameters of the drive safety instruction are changeable while the controller is in run mode for added flexibility. Execution of a controller-based safety function is initiated via the drive safety instructions input operand. Once initiated, the monitoring is done in the controller by the drive safety instruction. Lastly, let's review the features available for an advanced safety motion solution based on the Logix controller and the Kinetics 5700 drive used. When using an L8 Guard Logix controller, the Kinetics 5700 ERS4 drive provides all the advanced safety functionality. The features include the ability to bring motor feedback into the controller safety task, either single or dual channel, depending on the PL or SIL level the system needs to achieve. Access to all the controller-based drive safety instructions, network STO, and both drive-based SS1 timed and SS1 monitored safety functions. When using the Kinetics 5700 ERS3 Series B drive with an L8 Guard Logix controller, network STO and drive based SS1 timed are available. If using an L7 Guard Logix controller, the feature sets are the same for both Kinetics 5700 models network STO and drive based SS1 timed. Also note that ERS4 drives can be used alongside all ERS3 drives, including the existing Series A drives. This completes the review of drive-based and controller-based safety. Look for additional videos covering configuring and use of the safety functions introduced in this video. Thank you.